welcome to Kerry TV. How are you all doing? Are you all keeping yourself safe? Naughty guys. Are you? Okay. Well, if you are, good for you. You are contributing towards the healthy environment that we are living in. Thank you so much and we all appreciate that. All right. So today I'm going to help show you a healthy recipe. Healthy means it's with okra. Okra in coconut milk. How many of you have tried that? Okra is known as lady's finger. Eedy bitty one. Or bindi in India. Oh gosh, I've had a hard time with that. What is bindi? For the ladies who wear this, that's also called bindi. I had a hard time with that, okay? So, this recipe is actually with okra. Fresh okra in coconut milk. How simple is that? Let me show you how it's done. Let's take a look at all the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. So, bindi actually it does have a slimy thing it's not bad it's actually good for you so lots of nutrition are incorporated in that one vegetable okay let's take a look at how to sliminess reduce it down so that we can enjoy that beautiful vegetable i have mustard fennel green chilies garlic ginger salt to your desire turmeric powder red chili powder coriander powder, tomato slices, the round, nice steak size, or the small Roman size will also be fine, and red onions, so slicey, very thin slices would be for sufficient. This is our hero for this evening, and that is bindi, okra or lady's finger, whichever language you want, call it tomato, tomato, potato, potato, no matter, it's all same thing, all right? That's that. This is about 20, 25 of them, depending on. If you're using big ones, there's 20 of them. If you're using small ones, there's 25 of them. If you have fresh ones or frozen ones, it's fine. No problem. Just try it out. I have vinegar, tip of the day. I have fresh extract of the coconut milk, first press, second press, and I have the coconut oil. Because this is actually a Caroline dish, I have to use coconut oil. Simple as that, right? You've been following my channel, you know what it is. All right, and we also need curry leaf. How can you make a curry without curry leaf? I know you, naughty one. Okay, let's, let's just start this, okay? We're gonna turn on our stove and get it to high. And once the oil is nice and hot, we're gonna pour in our mustard. In the meantime, I'm gonna powder our fennel into dust and I'll show you how that all looks like. So we poured in two tablespoons of coconut oil. There's a reason why I poured two tablespoons. I'll tell you. Okay? Nice and hot, screaming hot. Okay? Very, 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 very screaming hot. We're gonna add one teaspoon of mustard and it's gonna do its dance. So be careful, don't get burned. Okay, it's gonna splatter around, it's gonna dance in that oil. So have your sheet shield ready. Ready? One, two, and three goes. Let that baby do its magic, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, mustard has done its job. Now we're gonna go in with our green chilies. That's five to six, if you like it spicy, because we are adding red chili powder. It's just for the color, so the spiciness actually comes through the green chili. So I'm adding five to six of them. If you are using small one, there's six. If you're using large ones, there's five. Okay, we're gonna go in with one garlic clove. Very fine chop. Okay, next goes in our ginger. Just say one tablespoon of ginger. We're gonna saute this. So many questions coming our way. First thing, where did I get our um, aragel? Aragel is brought from New York. My cousins, they were able to help me out. It's an Asian store in somewhere in New York. I don't know, I don't remember that. That's them. That pesto, the motor mix, that's from Costco. The water jug, that's from India. Sorry, babe, there's no way I can help you out. It's an earthen pot. I've seasoned it. We use it multiple times during the day. So that's that. Um, the next thing, do I use my uh, stone grinder? Yes, I do. We make chutneys on that. Okay, so that's that. Next thing into our recipe, right? 
we're going to add in our okras. Why we add okras right now? There's that slimy thing. We need to reduce it down. So when you saute this in oil, it actually reduces it down. That's tip one. Okay. Okay, we're going to give it a good mix. Let that oil coat all of that okra. This is about roughly 20, 25 of them. If you're using the big ones, like I said, there's 20. There's small ones also available. So there's 25. It's okay. Give and take. This is about, this will serve about six people. So one time meal for us. So we don't want to lose any of its green, right? So to retain that green, we are going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. All of it goes in quarter teaspoon, only quarter teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Because we're using coconut milk, we need that thickness, get okay, that binding agent. So we're going to saute all this. Mm. You know what? This goes well with chapati or parathas. Oh my gosh, it's so good so good it smells amazing oh my gosh so good so good okay at this point i like to add one tablespoon of vinegar any vinegar that you like what that does is get that sliminess out of the okra okay that's a tip tip number two you're going to give it a good mix Next, we're going to go in with fresh curry leaves. If you have fresh curry leaves, use fresh curry leaves. If you have frozen, use frozen. I don't care. Don't worry about it. Nobody's going to kill you. Just rip them apart, tear them apart, crush them apart, whichever one you want. Just make sure there's that curry leaf flavor coming through your dish, okay? At this point, we're going to go in with our fennel powder, freshly grounded fennel powder. This is about half a teaspoon of fennel powder, just for a surprise element in our dish. It just brings out the flavor so much. Oh my gosh, really. Saute all this together. Mm, yummy, yummy. It smells great, okay? We're gonna go in with our half of an onion, very thinly sliced. Now you guys have been asking, why do I say half of an onion? One full of an onion. The onion sizes does matter. In India, you get a very, very small version of the onion. In here, we get a larger version of the red onion. Same thing, red onion comes in two different sizes. So people in India who, is, who are following us, they get confused. So that's why I actually use, say, half of a red onion. Okay? We're gonna saute all this. Now we're gonna cook all this in our second press of coconut milk which is this baby right here, one cup, okay? And just pour that in. Okay, so our dish is somewhat cooked, okay? After five minutes or so, because it's vegetables, it doesn't take a long time to cook. So, therefore, our onions have become translucent, our on okras are cooked. Now we are gonna go in with our seasoning, which is our salt. Now, salt is according to your desire. I'm adding one teaspoon of salt because I have added vinegar already in there. Not the point. So taste it in between. If you want to add more, add more. If you don't want to, no problem. Don't add more. See, cooking is always an experiment. So you got to give it a little bit. Give it, take, that kind of stuff. It's okay. Okay? Now we're going to go in with our very thinly sliced tomato slices. We're just going to place them right on top of our okras. Okay, we're going to reduce our heat before we pour in our first extract of coconut milk. Give it a good mix. Make sure everything is according to your desire because you're enjoying it. If you don't like what you're making it, then what's the point of making it, right? Okay. So right now, this is all perfect. I'm going to reduce my heat down and I'm going to pour in our first extract of coconut milk. 
Now, if you don't know how to make your own coconut milk, baby, go check it out, my videos. There's more videos coming your way. Come on. If you don't have that time, rely on the store bought. No problem. I'm not going to come and kill you. I'm not going to check if you use the store bought on your own. Come on. You, you know me. Okay. I'm going to just pour that in. That's the first extract. That's the concentrated form of it. So do not, do not let this come to a boil because if it does, it's going to start splitting and you know who is responsible for that. It's not me. You. You, baby. You, 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 you. Okay. So for that, once we have the control of the stuff, it's okay to reduce and to change the temperature of your cooking so that it doesn't burn our dish, it doesn't destroy our dish. So that's what the beauty of cooking is, right? Okay, now we're gonna let this come to a sim, very, very slim, and then I'm gonna turn this off, and then I'll show you how to garnish all this and plate this. How should you be serving this? All is coming through. Okay, that my friend, after two minutes, it just come to a sim, and then I turn off the stove, and it looks absolutely divine. I love this, okay? This is one of my favorite recipes to go to any time of the day, any time. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So if you're serving this with breakfast, you can have it with parathas, uh, appams, or idiopums. That's a very good combination. If you're serving this with dinner, you can have this for chapati or paratha, no problem. If you're serving this for lunch, it's a great compliment. You don't need any side dishes, okay? This goes well with rice. Perfect. We have lunch with rice. So that's, that's, that's the beauty of this. Make one dish, it serves the whole day. So enjoy this recipe and let me platter this and I'll show you how that looks like. All right there from my friend, this is an easy piece okra in coconut milk. So try this out and let me know in the feedbacks how it turned out for you, all right? I'll see you next time on... Curry TV. See you. Bye-bye.